Hi everyone and welcome back to Pajama Time. It's great to see you again. And I am in the same place, I'm in the same house because we're not supposed to move around too much at this time. And uh, But we I've moved to a different part of the house so that now all our friends can be in the same picture at the same time. How cool is that? Yeah, so as you can see, Sammy's over here, and he'll come share with us a few things a bit later. But Sefi has come with the plague of darkness on his face. Plague of darkness. Sefi, why are you wearing darkness on your face? Why? Why? What? Huh? Yeah, right. Of course. I should have known, because it's one of the plagues. Remember we talked about how... A little bit of something is sometimes a good thing, but a lot of something can be a plague, can be something that we actually don't want so much, like darkness. So a little bit of darkness is good because we need it to be able to sleep at night. But too much darkness all day long and all night long uh, is really, it's just a bit too much. It's hard to find our way around. It's hard to find the breakfast we want to eat. It's hard to play the games we want to play, do a puzzle. These are things that are really hard if it's dark all the time. So when there's too much of a thing like that, even of a good thing, sometimes we call it a plague. So Sefi has come with the plague of darkness on his face. So Pesach starts tonight, Wednesday night. And there are certain kinds of foods, that special kinds of foods that we don't eat during Pesach. And I've brought them just as a reminder. So um, instead of eating challah, mm -mm -mm, we eat, instead we eat matzah. And instead of eating cupcakes, mm -mm -mm, we eat matzah. And instead of eating cake. Mm -mm -mm. We eat matzah. And instead of eating pizza, mm -mm -mm, we eat matzah. The types of foods that we don't eat are called chametz. So this is chametz and this is chametz. This is chametz and this is chametz. So these are all things that we don't eat at Pesach time. Remember, we did our fun little poem about hunting for hametz and what we do with it. Uh, we have another poem a little later today. It's also about Pesach. Uh, but let's get started with a review. That means doing over again the different songs that we learned for Pesach. Actually, over before we get to that, before we get to that, we should see what Sammy brought because I have a feeling that he remembered the one thing we haven't really talked about too much yet, which is what goes on the Seder plate. If he was listening carefully, maybe he brought the things that will help us learn about that. So, Sammy, why don't you swim over here? Why don't you swim over here? Good to see you again. Oh, I know you're enjoying all this extra space and being in the picture with us. That's so great. And, yep, he did. This is exactly what he brought. He brought a Seder plate for Pesach. This is a Seder plate. Can you see me behind the Seder plate? So this is a Seder plate, and it shows you all the things that you put on your table, on your table for the Pesach Seder, the big meal that you're going to have, um, hopefully, with your family. Uh, so let's see. He brought the items as well. Let's see what he brought. Uh, you know this one. The What's this one? The bitter herbs. Right, the bitter herbs. And this is called maror in Hebrew. And we're going to put it right here in the middle where it says bitter herb. Right here. Now let's see what else he's got. The bitter herbs, the maror, 
is for us to remember how bitter, how sad and difficult it was uh, to live with Pharaoh in charge of us. So, uh, ah, I see what he's brought us. He's brought us an apple. This is because we make something called haroset with apples. And haroset is really sweet and it's really yummy. It's really good to put on matzah. And we're going to put it right here on our Seder plate, right where it's supposed to go. And let's see what else. Oh, the haroset is usually it's really thick and like thick and pasty. Like it's thick and hard to spread a little bit sometimes. Um, and that's meant to remind us of the cement, the mortar that was used in the bricks that were that Pharaoh had us make when we were working for Pharaoh in Egypt. Um, so that reminds us of our time in Egypt. Ah, yeah, and this, this is so great. This is the Pesach sacrifice. This is what the people would bring to the temple uh, in Jerusalem a long, 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 long time ago um, when they used to make sacrifices. Um, and so this was one of the things that goes right here where it says Zaroa, Zaroa. That's a shank bone, we call it. And what else, Sammy? A few more things go on our Seder plate. Aha. Uh -huh. This, what does this look like? Something we usually eat for breakfast. It's an egg, an egg. In Hebrew, we say beitza. Beitza goes right here on the Seder plate. I hope you can see this. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. I lost my beitza. Lost my egg. Ah, and the one other thing that Sammy brought, the greens, the karpas. This is a vegetable that goes, it dips. We dip it usually in salt water to remember our tears that we cried because we were so unhappy when we were um, working for Pharaoh. And we're going to put the greens, which remind us of, what does this remind you of? grows on trees maybe leaves leaves this is like leaves that reminds us of springtime when all the leaves come out and all the flowers start to bloom so we're going to put it right here that is our carpas carpas so the beta the egg went running off because it's round it just rolled over over there but that's okay that's beta then we have m -m 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 Maror and Zoroa, Zoroa. Haroset is made with apples and Karpas, the greens that we dip. So we're going to place our Seder plate right over here with the matzah. Yes. And let's see what else Sammy brought. Ah, Sammy brought our poem. Our poem, our Pesach poem. Sammy's going to hang out over here for a minute while we read our Pesach poem. I love this one. This one goes with the song, Manishtana Halayla Hazeh, the four questions. It says, why is it only on Passover night? We never know how to do anything right. We don't eat our meals in the regular ways the ways that we do on all other days. Because on all other nights, we may eat all kinds of wonderful, good, bready treats, like big purple pizza that tastes like a pickle, crumbly crackers, and pink pumpernickel. On all other nights, we eat all kinds of bread. But tonight, of all nights, we eat matzah instead. On all other nights, we devour vegetables, green things, and bushes and flowers lettuce that's leafy, and candy striped spinach, fresh silly celery. Have more when you're finished. Daisies and roses and inside-out grass, and artichoke hearts that are simply first class. Sixty asparagus tips served in glasses with anchovy sauce and some sticky molasses. But on Passover night, you would never consider eating a herb that wasn't all bitter. 
and you know what the bitter herb is called, remember? Maror. That's Maror. So we'll set this over here as well with Sefi. And I think we should practice a few songs. A few songs, a few of our Pesach songs. Seder's First over. one is the Steps of the Seder. And if you remember, they go like this. Kadeshur Chatz Karpas Yachatz Magid Rachza Motzi Matza Marur Korech Shulchan Orech Tzapun Barech Halel Nirza Those are all the steps of the Seder. You've learned them all. So proud. And I think now we can practice our song about the Afikoman. What was the Afikoman? Anyone remember? Do you recall? The Afikoman had to do with this. Remem remember, we broke it in half, and then we put some of it back on the Seder plate for later, and half of it we hid. We hid, and we called that the Afikoman, the Afikoman. We hid that so that the kids at the Seder could come and find it later, at the end of the Seder. That's your job. So let's sing now our song about the Afikoman that is in hiding. It goes like this. I'm over here, come find me. I'm hiding in the books. I see you getting closer, but I can't get you to look. You do not seem to see me, but I'm looking right at you. I am the Afikoman, and hiding's what I do. I am the Afikoman, and hiding's what I do. So two songs you've learned just very recently, just in the past week or two, which is really, really impressive. And uh, the one that we've been working on for quite some time now, uh, which has four verses and three claps, is Ma Nishtana Halayla Hazeh. That's what that poem was about. Why is this night different from all the others? Why do we eat matzah on this night? Why do we eat the bitter herb on this night? Why do we dip our foods on this night? It's so silly. And why do we lean when we eat? We lean a little bit when we eat because we're relaxed. We're relaxed because we have our freedom. So let's sing a little Manishtana together. Manishtana halayla hazeni kol halelot. Clap three times. Me kol halelot. Clap three times. Sheba kol halelot. Anu ochlin chametu matza. Clap three times. Chametu matza. Clap three times. Halayla hazeh. Halayla hazeh. Kulo matzah, halayla haze, halayla haze, kulo matzah. Manishtana halayla haze, mikol halelot, mikol halelot, shebechol halelot, anu ochlin she'ar yerakot. She'ar yerakot Halay lahazeh, halay lahazeh Kulo maror Halay lahazeh, halay lahazeh Kulo maror Manishtana halay lahazeh Mikol halelot Mikol halelot Shebechol halelot, ein anu matfilin, afilu pamachat, afilu pamachat. Halay lahazeh, halay lahazeh, shuteh be'amim, halay lahazeh.
זה הלילה הזה שתהה פעמים. מה נשתנה הלילה הזה מכל הלילות? מכל הלילות שבכל הלילות אנו אוכלים בין יושבים ובין מסובים בין יושבים ובין מסובים הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולנו מסובים הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולנו מסובים וואו, we got our exercise in that one. We got a workout, a workout, all that leaning. Why don't we turn now to our song about how much God did for us in freeing us from slavery in the land of Egypt, from freeing us from Pharaoh. Um, there were so many things that God did for us, um, not only freed us and parted the seas so that we could walk free, but also fed us while we walked through the desert on our way to the land of Israel, the promised land, and gave us the Torah on Mount Sinai which we'll talk about soon when we get to talking about Shavuot after Pesach. Um, and gave us the Torah and gave us Shabbat, which we'll celebrate on Friday. So why don't we sing our song called Dayenu, which me means that any one of those things would have been enough for us to say, thank you, God. Toda Rabbah. So it goes like this. You can clap along. Ilu, ilu, hotzianu, hotzianu, mi mitraim, hotzianu, mi mitraim, dayenu. Day, dayenu, day, dayenu, day, dayenu, dayenu, dayenu. Had God brought us out of Egypt, but not split the sea before us, brought us out of Egypt, well then die anew. Die, die anew. Die, die anew. Die, die anew. Die anew, die anew. Had God split the sea before us, but not fed us in the desert, split the sea before us, well then die anew. Die, die, anew. Die, die, anew. Die, die, anew. Die, anew. Die, anew. Die, anew. Die, die, anew. Die, die, anew. Die, die, anew. Die, anew. Die, anew. Yasher Koach. That means you did a great job. Or you could say, kol hakavod. You did really well, really well. So I think now Sammy would like us to take out the bedtime Shema from his pocket. Let's read our bedtime Shema. It says, I forgive you. We have to think now of all the people during the day that maybe gave us kind of a hard time and to think about whether we can say, it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't so bad. Whether you poked me, splashed me, or pushed past me, grabbed my things or took my rings, took my ball or made me fall, ate my cake or made me late, one day you'll learn that's not so kind. So I'll try to erase it from my mind. I know a better way you'll find. But I forgive you in the meantime. Whether you stole my chair or pulled my hair, did something unfair or gave me a scare, knocked me down or made me frown, or told a lie that made me cry, one day you'll learn that's not so kind, so I'll try to erase it from my mind. I know a better way you'll find, but I forgive you in the meantime. And a prayer for a good night's sleep. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamapil chevle shena al enai. Blessed are you, God, ruler of the universe, 
who makes my eyelids droopy. Lay me down in peace for a good night's rest. Fill my head with only good dreams the whole night through, so that I can be bright-eyed and happy when the sun comes up anew. And everyone's going to cover their eyes now, like this. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Leolam Vaed Be'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol avavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha Behayu hadevarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavcha Hayom alevavecha Vishinantam levanecha Vidibarta bam Beshivtecha bevetecha Uvlechtecha vaderech Uvshochbecha uvkumecha Ukshar tam le'od al yadecha, v'hayu l'tot afod b'in e'necha. Uktav tam al mezuzot v'etecha uvisharecha. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these words which I command you this day. Teach them to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and as symbols before your eyes. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And parents, now you can place a hand gently on your children's heads as we say our blessing for peace. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha Ya er Adonai panav elecha vichuneka Yisa Adonai panav elecha Viasem lecha shalom Viasem lecha shalom May God bless you and keep you. May God's light make you smile. May God's presence be with you always and bring you peace. The Yado of Kidruhi, into God's hand I place my soul. Have no worry, have no fear. At night, God keeps the angels near. And we'll conclude, as we always do, with our bedtime melody. When I close my eyes, at night and sleep when I drift into my dreams I give thanks for the blessings in my life for the people who care for me thank you God for my family thank you God for my friends Thank you, God, for the earth and sea. Thank you, God, for the trees and the air I breathe. Thank you, God, for me. Thank you, God, for me. When I open my eyes to the new day's light, when I rise and start my day, I give thanks for the music and love in my life, for the freedom I have to say. Thank you, God, for my hope. Thank you, God, for my heart. Thank you, God, for the strength to know wrong from right. Thank you, God, for the faith I have in myself. Thank you, God, for me. 
Thank you, God, for me. And I thank God for you that you have spent this pajama time with me and for all the time we've spent together preparing for Pesach. I'm really excited that you're going to have an amazing Seder because now you know all the things to do and what everything on the Seder plate is all about. And you know what foods you're not supposed to eat during these days. And you know that it's really important to eat matzah. And I hope you all have what we call a Chag Sameach. Try saying that. Chag, chag Sameach. That means have a happy holiday. I hope it's wonderful. Lehitraot, Chag Sameach, and Laila Tov if you're going to bed. Laila Tov.